Gold prices saw a boost late last week following the Fed's decision not to move on rates. The metal is seeing a corrective pullback this Monday, but its safe haven alert has returned, says our next guest. Frank Holmes joins us now. Frank, thanks so much uh, for being with us. It's great to be back again. So the markets are digesting uh, the news from last week, Frank, and I know you said it for a long time that the Fed was not going to move. But let's look at what's uh, happening uh, to gold. Despite a pullback this Monday, it, it is holding up here. Gold is hold, holding up well. And we are in that season where the love trade starts to click in. And I think that will remain steady demand for gold. Uh, and I think with a big part for the listeners is that interest rates for last week, the CPI number ticked down. And if they did, had, had they lifted rate, interest rates, the dollar would have soared. It would have basically uh, destroyed exports out of America and would have created a contagion around the world that we've had more QEs all over. So I think the, the Fed made a wise move not to change interest rates. Well, you say gold safe haven alert has returned now post-Fed, and we saw the dollar take a hit late last week, as you mentioned on the news as well. Do you think this gold safe haven appeal will be short-lived? Yes, and it's rotating. You know what's really fascinating? And we look at a year over year in Russian rubles, it's up 60%. There are many other countries' currencies that golds have these big moves, except for the dollar. And it's off 6%. And there's been redemptions over the gold uh, ETF. But it, look, it appears that we're seeing the, the redemptions have slowed down and odds favor for a rise in gold prices. But I don't think they're going to explode, Danielle. Okay. I think you get this modest, gradual growth. Okay. And what about on the mining front, Frank? How do you see the sector here? Is it time uh, to buy mining stocks? Yes, and they're struggling for a bottom. And I mentioned, you know, Carl Icahn coming in to shake up Freeport MacRan and Freeport immediately issuing $1 billion of equity and looking to ra raise more capital to try to slow them down. But I don't think that's going to take place. And I think many companies have been doing everything to get costs under control. So we're going to see some type of a trough here in mining stocks this year. Well, last week was such a huge week. What do you think our touchdown pass is going to be this week, Frank? What are you paying attention to? PMI, uh, Chinese flash PMI is coming Wednesday. It's Tuesday night out of China, and it's going to be important to see that trend change because the commodities last time when they turned, it went negative one month below the three months, the commodities got crushed. So let's see if we can get a change taking place. All right, Frank, thanks so much for joining us this week. We'll see what happens. All right, happy investing. Bye. And thanks for watching this edition of Gold Game Film. We'll see you tomorrow.